We're only strategizing. And there is the horrifying Regeki that Supreme was afraid of. And there goes his Sonic Bird. And now the tomato Ooh. attacks. And the Robin Goblin is going to lock this duel in for Supreme. As he has one card left in his hand. And the Ooh. seven tools of the bandit. And he'll go for the attack. And it goes through. Merlin down to 2350. John is still at 8,000. I guess. And ooh, nice Regeki. Oh, and the solemn judgment. John, not minding at all, investing a half of his life savings to save his Mahavilo and his. Wow. Oh my god. Shuffling the seeds. Shuffling seeds again. Shuffling seeds again. Shuffling seeds again. All right, it shuffles the shit out of everybody. And now I can go to bracket. Bam. All right, there are your matchups, ladies and gentlemen. We have Dark Blue versus Grim as match number one. Uh, table one is Dark Blue Grim. No, I lost. I'm going against John. Well, not well wait, Supreme, you were so confident before. And then Hakeem versus uh, Kutcher is on table two. Table two is Hakeem and Kutcher. All right, Hakeem and Kutcher. Table three is John Supreme. Table four is Briggy and Merlin. Let's get it. All right, did everybody, everybody get that? Yes, sir. All right, we're just missing Merlin. All right, beautiful, beautiful. I'm All right. with you. And now, good luck to everybody. Seventy-five dollars is on the line. Cool. Do we get yes. our dual table? Mm -hmm. um, yes. Wait, yep. So best. Oh, best oh, of yes, yes. Best of uh, ones. Uh, oh, okay, great. So I, I mentioned that earlier. So uh, we are doing best of ones, and there is a loser's bracket. Okay. Have fun, ladies and gents, and begin. Run. Run sprint. Go. <laughs> Duel. So what about me and no rocks? Uh, we are going to commentate, <laughs> I guess. Okay, so let me hide this. Dude, what the hell is going on? Alright, we're gonna hide that. First thing I'm going to do is... We're gonna spectate one of these duels, actually, is the first thing. Let's watch Merlin and Briggy. I don't know any of what they're doing at all. I've watched some of the other uh, participants, but never them. So we have... Here we have Merlin versus Briggy Ninja. I don't think I've ever seen Briggy Ninja duel. Maybe I have, but I can't remember. I have been streaming for nearly 24 hours now. How about you, Dung? How was your uh, lovely day? I Sick. And then, Norox, are you excited for this matchup? No, I know all the decks. They're too slow. Awesome. This is going to be a hotly anticipated uh, tournament. I c cannot wait to see what happens. And now we have the opening move of the tournament. Uh, Merlin summons the Witch of the Black Forest. Witch of the Black Forest is a fantastic so card that's been eroded to become a terrible card. But don't fret, in this format, it's still pretty good. As it attacks the Maneater Bug. You should throw me and Norox in the final duel. In the blue a bracket. We just might do that, we just might do that. And now the Maneater Bug has destroyed the Witch of the Black Forest, and the Witch of the Black Forest's effect is going to go off. Um, that's probably a decent trade that Merlin probably doesn't mind. Um, and Biggie's, uh, Briggy is probably good with it as well. Let's see if Merlin sets any cards here. And he leaves the field wide open for Briggy to uh, lay his assault. Now, can Briggy summon a beater? And he uses Monster Reborn very early in the duel here. It's only turn three. And we got the no Monster Reborn line. going on. It's already off. over. Yeah, it's, it's games. It's GG's. And uh, no Ash Blossom. <laughs> no Call by the Grave. And now, which of the Black Forest attacking Merlin directly here for a nice 1,100 points of damage. And Briggy taking the early lead against Merlin. Hold up. That witch is gonna give Merlin a plus two here. Oh shit. Uh, here, I'm going to actually do a poll here. Look at Merlin's hand, the prophet. Yeah, actually, did he just play Max C? That is a massive hand for a pre goat format. It's definitely a massive hand. Our would be a Woboku or a, or, a, or a Mirror Force face down, huh? I got that input lag. All right. And we have a poll going, ladies and gentlemen. If you're interested in watching um, this poll or uh, participating in this poll, you can check out the poll. 
uh, and vote. Uh, will Merlin take it or will Briggy take it? Time will only tell as we are now into turn six. And we have, we've had tomatoes, sangins, and witches used um, on Merlin's side. So Merlin seems to um, be for milling uh, his deck as much as possible to pr possibly thin it to get the cards he actually needs. Uh, whereas, judging from the few cards that Briggy's played, seems to be running the big staples such as Fissure Maneater to kind of destroy the opponent's the opponent's monsters. Uh, but that seems to be helpful for Merlin because he keeps playing cards like Sangin and Witch, um, which probably like getting destroyed. And now we have the Sangin going for the 1K, uh, knocking Briggy down to 6,700 life points, putting Merlin in the lead by 200 points. I think the real poll here is how many turns will the game be? 10s, 20s, or 30s? That is a great question, No Rocks. Um, and honestly, these... I, I can probably say it won't be 10s. Um, 20s are unlikely. 40s and 50s seem to be the most common uh, if we're being... keeping it all the way 1,000 to a stack. <laughs> it's probably going to be in the 50s. But we shall see. We shall see. Um... There certainly is a lot of milling, and he just keeps milling for cards that mill. <laughs> and now, oh, now the Masked Sorcerer. Interesting choice. That card, the opposite of White Magical Hat in a lot of ways, will allow the uh, user to draw a card when it inflicts damage. As the Masked Sorcerer uh, burns for a nice little, uh, little 900 points of damage, again putting Briggy Ninja in the lead by 700 points. It is anybody's game, as Merlin has a massive hand he's got like seven cards in his hand one two three four seven eight yeah jesus yeah that monster reborn before was definitely a minus yeah that 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 it was definitely a little soon definitely a little soon um it's probably better off at that point in the duel just passing uh maybe even just saving it for a bigger moment towards the end Ooh, and now the wall of illusion comes out um, then again, we can't discount the uh, opportunity that Magician of Faith provides. We can always recycle that Monster Reborn over and over, as we saw uh, Merlin actually do to Dark Blue in the finals of the previous Starter Deck tournament. Um, if you all want to see how that tournament tor uh, turned out, you can check it out on the Crimson Matt YouTube channel. Wink, wink. Uh, oh. Like and sub. <laughs> uh, and now, let's see here. The Mass Sorcerer has been destroyed by Wall of Illusion. This duel is the attack of the minis. As Merlin won the poll. I say we end the duel. Fair enough. <laughs> and Merlin is up 67% uh, um, uh, more likelihood that he will win this duel. We shall see what happens. As Merlin draws for turn, uh, will Merlin have a chance to attack Briggy directly for 1k? Will he summon a second monster? I'm kind of hoping for um, a bigger monster here. And we have a second Wall of Illusion uh, appearing on the field. Is this worth mirror forcing? Is it worth wabakuing? It's really hard to say at this stage of the duel. It is definitely worth a board clear. Oh yeah, and the wabaku is going to save Briggy just 2,000 uh, life points here. I can't help but wonder if that was worth it or not. I... It's hard to say in this format, but I probably would have used that if I had a monster in the field to at least save something for myself, but it's hard to say. These situations can be a little bit tricky, especially without knowing what Briggy has uh, in his hand and face down. All right, now Briggy drawing for turn. Let's we'll see if Briggy can, um, can muster up something. We're going to be the next tournament, or when is the next tournament going to be? I uh, can't really say. Um, but this one is happening now. Um, probably, well, there will be one of some kind when I hit 200 followers, if and when I hit 200 followers, but I don't know. I don't know what form that's going to take exactly. I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, but there will be another one like this that includes Pharaoh Serpent as well. Supreme so. One. Uh, Supreme wait. One against two. Yeah, against me. Supreme beat you, Nice, John? nice. Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, okay. 
Congratulations, Supreme. Yeah, congrats, Supreme, for uh, defeating John. Let's see here. Um, I'm sure I'll see him again later. Okay, start. He'll climb back up. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be the it'll be the reverse of the last. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, so Supreme is one. Uh, just said, "What, John? You lost my man." <laughs> John's like, "Yeah." Uh, I didn't understand something, but now I know. Mm, okay, learning, learning. All right. Uh, anyway, back to the duel here. So, oh, I see a graveyard full of wall of illusions and sangins, and okay, we got a dark hole going off, destroying a set monster here. Oh wow, solemn judgment, and wow, that's a big life point dip. Briggy Brig willing to spend 3,300 life points to protect his face down monster. I can't help but wonder if that's a magician of faith or some kind of flip effect monster. Would make the most sense. At the very least, the likelihood of that being a Sangin or a Witch is slim. Is slim. Alright. And now we have the Raigeki going off. Ooh, and the Nimble Momonga. Nice. That is going to be a good hit for Merlin. Um, that would have actually replenished um, almost all of what Briggy spent for a Solemn Judgment, but that card is now destroyed. Um... And now, ooh, the Robin Goblin Mystic Tomato combo. Uh, very nice. He's doing the hand destruction thing that I did earlier. Nice. And he dumps the Blue Eyes White Dragon from Briggy. Um, I don't think Briggy's going to miss that very much. Ooh, nice. And he's got a Gear Freed. Uh, he's got a Beater on the field here. Uh, destroying the Mystic Tomato. And the Mystic Tomato is going to allow Merlin to summon a Dark Monster. 1500 attacker less in attack position. Uh, we can only assume that it's going to be a Witch or a Sangin. Uh, or I guess it could be a Wall of Illusion. I'll just wait and see here. Or another Mystic Tomato. Or, or it could be another Mystic Tomato. That is very true. Uh, ah, okay, and the Witch comes out. We have another Witch of the Black Forest. Uh, we, I gotta say, um, the duels leading up to this, we've seen many very unique plays with Witch and Sangin. Very unique situations where Witch's effect gets used early in a turn, and then later in a turn, somehow somebody's trying to use Witch again, and it doesn't seem to be working, and it's simply because um, you cannot use her effect uh, more than once in a turn. Um, which is one of the poor little erratas that has destroyed Witch of the Black Forest. And now Briggy taking his turn, drawing card, and he has a second Gear Freed, uh, Briggy, uh, absolutely overpowering Merlin's monsters here. And adding a Mystic Tomato to hand with the Witch. Just seems like an endless cycle of Tomato, Witch, Tomato, Witch. And now, it's almost like it's Halloween, haha. <laughs> and now we have, uh, Magician of Faith. Ooh, returning the Raigeki. That's gonna be an excellent use, um, to get rid of both of those Gear Freeds. Um, they're definitely a thorn in Merlin's side. He's gotta get rid of them. And there it is. The Raigeki destroys both of Joey's gear freeds. And now we have Mystic Tomato in attack mode. Leaving Briggy with 500 life points. And the Robin Goblin leaving him with no cards in his hand. Dumping the second Blue Eyes White Dragon. Oof. We'll just have to wait and see what happens here. As Merlin sets a card face down. And Briggy, on his turn, sets a monster in defense mode. He's very fortunate he... Top decked a monster of some kind. Uh, I can only hope it's some kind of monster with high defense. Um, we'll just have to wait and see what he has here. And now we have a Sand getting attack one. And now Merlin with a timely Monster Reborn. Uh, perfect timing. Uh, right at the cusp of the end of the duel here. We are reaching the end. Here we go. Yep. And now it seems we're going to have the witch come back um, with her companion, Sangin and Mystic Tomato. The three millers of the deck. And it is the Spirit of the Harp. Oh my god. That is going to be a challenge for Merlin to overcome. Uh, unless Mer blue eyes. Yeah. Well, it's over him. This is going to be very, very tough um, for Merlin to get over. Uh, wait, so... Uh, 
between blue and grim? What what happened? I won. Oh, okay. Do a little All right, do so. Alright, so grim won against blue, okay. Grim, you won? Yeah, he wasn't pulling no monsters to set, so he, he kind of lost. Yeah, All I right. beat John. The usual champion. Wait, you about the fucking tourney. Clapping? Alright, and now, uh, oh my god, it's fish sticks. It's my favorite card. Oh, it's a shiny one, I want it! It's a glossy <laughs> fish sticks. It's in attack mode. <laughs> and now, Briggy is going to attack, and it looks like he's going for the Sangin. Ooh. And Briggy wants blood, as Sangin burns for, uh, or fish sticks burns the Sangin. Uh, and Merlin loses 800 life points, and now Sangin adding giant soldier of stone. Uh, Merlin's gonna need that wall, it seems like. Um, to hold off that deadly fish sticks. And in case you all are wondering, yes, I call seven colored fish fish sticks. Follow my Twitch, please. <laughs> and now, uh, Merlin draws for turn. And we shall see what happens. Um, do we have any other updates on, let's see, Kutcher and Hakim? Anybody know? No? I don't see, know. I see some in the chat, but... Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Guess we shall await the results of that. Man, this is a, uh... A time-testing duel here. As, and it's interesting because we do have a, uh... Mill, a bit more of a defensive... Oh god, Grim. Telling me to drink some water. <laughs> and, uh... And we have... Uh, Merlin with a bit more of a mill, a little more of a defensive, um, and then kind of, uh, hand control type of deck, and whereas Briggy is a bit more of an aggressive beatdown kind of deck. Um, and it is, has come down to the wire. One of the big reasons, uh, Briggy's life points have gotten so low is because he did play a Solemn Judgment, paying 3,300 life points. Um, and his Nimble Mwanga did get regeki so that was a big hit. That was definitely a big hit. Some blue eyes. Yeah, imagine he has the third blue eyes. That'd actually be cool just for the content. <laughs> Alright, and now Fish Dick's attacking the Mystic Tomato. My goodness, this duel can go any freaking direction. What the hell? Merlin's got to figure out a way to deplete just 500 life points from Briggy here. Hmm, and it looks like we're 8 minutes past our 24 hour mark. Um, that we've been streaming live. And now, the Magician of Faith gets flipped. And that is probably going to be the end of it, folks. The Raigeki has returned to Merlin. Uh, exactly what Merlin needed. And the Raigeki gets activated, destroying the fish and the harp. No more fish sticks. And now, Wall of Illusion will probably end off this duel here. Unless that is a Karibo in hand. And it is not. Uh, a great match. Um, congratulations, Merlin. Uh, for that victory. All right, let me go back to the brackets. Oh, okay, and then it looks like uh, Kutcher lost as well, and Hakeem won. Okay. Because you searched it, you searched, you searched your manager bug with Sangin, and then you try to use his effect. You can't do yep. that. Yep. Yep. So Sangin, oh, yeah, no. Sangin got shittily eroded. Um, I'd search my if you the there. card you search, you can't use that their effect that turn. Right. Oh. Uh, their effect doesn't work. Yep. It's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Um, I thought the game was broken. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, the next matchups we have um, we have two winners brackets, two losers brackets. So winners bracket we have table one will be Grim and Hakim. And then table two is going to be Supreme and Merlin. And then table three will be Dark Blue and Kutcher. Table four will be John and Briggy. Everybody let out the full force neutral attack and taunts and stuff. It's a is Merlin bad in the chat Nintendo. or no? Two? Is Merlin in the chat or no? Uh, I think he's in the chat, yeah. And 
you all may begin. Good luck, everybody. Um, all right, let me hide the brackets now. All right, so we watched, um, we watched uh, Merlin and uh, Briggy. So let's watch. I kind of want to watch Kutcher in Dark Blue, actually. Let's watch this one. Alright. Oh, man. We've got a bunch of crazy shit. Alright, poll is out. Poll is out. And, man, Dark Blue's already got the chain energy going. He's already going in for it. And now we have Dark Blade. Ooh, as he gets Trap Hold. Okay. Um, let's see. So, Supreme, you can go on... Oh yeah, that's right. Um, so, Blue and Supreme, you guys don't really have uh, anybody to talk to, I guess. <laughs> no voice chat. Yeah. Fair enough. I don't really talk anyway. True. <laughs> True. Alright. Um, and now we have um, Chain Energy going off. Looks like Kutcher's uh, paying his taxes, paying his dues. And summoning uh, Zombira the Dark, Zombiara the Dark, Zombraya the Dark, Zombira the Dark, however you pronounce that, he is summoning it to the field. Uh, and it is attacking uh, Dark Blue's face down monster. And now Dust Tornado will go off here, um, destroying Kutcher's face down card. Set to the field. Not one, but two of them. And now Kutcher has to plan his moves accordingly here, as that chain energy is going to make things problematic. Uh, and now Kutcher uh, observing the burn. Zombiara, ooh, and the Mirror Force. Uh, it's going to be a pretty well-timed one, honestly. Take out Zombiara the Dark and um, Kutcher's second Dark Blade. Uh, those are some pretty heavy hitters um, in this starter deck progression series pool. Now the Noble Mangas are flipped into attack mode, and they are ready. They usually help people recover life points, but they're doing the opposite this time. Uh, along with a Witch of the Black Forest, Dark Blue deemed it worth it to summon that Witch in attack mode uh, for the small, small price of some taxes. And now he attacks Kutcher directly for a nice chunk of damage. Nice 3,100 total here. Dropping Kutcher all the way down to 2,400. That's the attack points of the Red Eyes Black Dragon. That's all Kutcher has left here as Kutcher draws for turn. Ooh, and Kutcher using the Fissure, having to pay 500 life points in taxes. Uh, Kutcher's going to have to do something about that chain energy if he wants to win this duel. Now the chain energy going off again, and another Zombiara the Dark. Zombie or Zombari, blah, 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 blah. Zombie Dark. Getting summoned in attack mode, and now he's probably going to attack the... And he goes for the Nimble Manga. That is going to reduce Blue's life points basically by 100 points here. Now 
Now Blue is only down 100 life points from the original 8,000. And it seems like the votes are st starting to sway in the direction of Dark Blue. Um, it's not looking so good for Kutcher. Kutcher's going to have to figure out something here. As Dark Blue sets a monster in defense mode. Uh, and if you look at the field, it may look like Dark Blue is um, playing defensive. Uh, but in reality, um, it is a strategic plan to force Kutcher into paying taxes that he's going to have to pay if he wants to take down Blue's monsters. Um, Kutcher's going to have to do something about that chain energy. Um, otherwise, this is going to be a very fast duel for him. Ooh, and the Jurai Gumo. That is a... Oh, man, I don't... Oh, and the fissure gets activated. I mean, actually, I don't even, I, I completely understand that, actually. <laughs> that made total sense. Um, at this point, it, it, it's worth it. And now Kutcher basically has two monsters for the rest of the duel. Um, I mean, pretty much just the cards on his field for the duel. Oh, my God. And he loses his lifeline, his Jirai Gumo. And he's left with one monster on the field, Zombie of the Dark, that can't even attack life points directly. I I don't think there's any way Kutcher comes back from this. No, I can either just stall it till it's game or just end it now. So he can't even cool. summon anymore. No, yeah, it's going to summon or even set a card or... Oh, nice. Okay, so we have the Solemn Judgment. Oh my goodness. Just the brutality of it. Seven tools in the solemn judgment. It's like let him have some crumbs. It's like wow, Kutcher had no shot there. Dark just showing off his life points yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, and now, oh, he's attacking with a giant germ, which is going to burn Kutcher for a nice 500 points of damage. And it seems the burn strat um, has Kutcher mm -hmm. and gets Dark Blue the victory. Um, helping Dark Blue claw his way through um, the loser's bracket. Alright, let's see. Any other duels finished up here? I guess we can jump to another one. That one's a little bit quicker than I would have thought. Uh, let's go to Grim and Hakeem. We did not watch any of these duelists before uh, during this tournament yet. Good game, guys. Yeah, good, good job, guys. Good job. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, Briggy and John, uh, what happened? Uh, yeah, I got spanked. Put a little spider oh. on my field and I couldn't deal with it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that sounds like John. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <Yep. laughs> All right. Well so... played, good duels. Yes. Good duels. All right, and John sure takes the that. W. Uh, John and Dark Blue clawing their way through the loser's bracket. <laughs> Yes. Now I have to face the ultimate test against Dark Blue, probably. Did you win? <laughs> Your deck was built to beat mine. I know, yeah. If you're still doing solid, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, but then again, I, I lost one. So, anything could happen. I'm not saying I'm going to give it to you. You're yeah. Not bad. Probability-wise, it's in your favor. Yeah. Oh, I should fast-forward this match. That'd be mm. old, that's wise. Uh, yeah, I wonder I what turn they're on. Commit. Wait, John, what'd you lose to? I lost to Relinquish because I didn't under I didn't know that you have to attack him twice. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because no one ever, like, successfully actually summons Relinquish. And if they do, they just get dark hold usually. <laughs> I so couldn't I, get I couldn't get any monsters. Uh, yeah. I was like, and I didn't I didn't get any burn spells and I didn't get any monsters. And I was just like, oh god. Yeah, that sucks. I was trying to like play like I was trying to like not overextend. And that's basically what costed me because I didn't know about Really pushed how it worked. I pretty much need 
mm-hmm. like two tolls or a chain energy. Otherwise, yeah. for your strat, yeah, yeah, kind of need to open it. Yeah, probably prefer to open a toll. Well, relinquish set a bunch. Yeah, but, and then I, I kept getting like me near both. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, and then Fear Creep failed me. Oh, I did? <laughs> yeah, because I beat, so he killed Spear Cretan, and I, I got back Magician of Faith, and he got back or relinquished. And I was like, oh, yeah, he summoned it properly. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there's two relinquished, then. Who did you play? Grim. Oh, okay, so Grim and... Oh, really I think you're both using really increased. Yep. Interesting. She's what turn on, are, what turn is Grim and Hakeem on? Oh. Wait, Hakeem won. I believe. Yeah. Okay. I think. Oh, yep. Reborning the relinquished. We're only on turn 10. Wait, um, Hakeem, uh, in the chat, did you... You won, right? I didn't... I didn't hallucinate that. So that ending was, like, super abrupt. I, I couldn't... I couldn't really tell. Yeah, okay. Alright. Um, let's see. Um... Got a 1... Okay. All right, now we're waiting on Supreme and Merlin. Let me fast forward through this. Um, <sighs> DD Crutcher, DDD, worst deck, let's go. <laughs> What turn are you guys on, Supreme? On turn 10 right now. 10? Oh, okay. I'm on 7, catching up. He's face down. Oh, wow. That was a good move. Wow, that was a good move. John, you win? Yeah. I totally see Merlin winning us. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Ooh, okay. Jeez. He's got four face downs. My goodness. Okay, and we are live. We are caught up to the duel, uh, ladies and giant germs. Um, we have the Black Illusion Ritual Supreme activating another one, uh, hopefully to get a relinquish off, and the Solemn Judgment Merlin deeming that worth four thousand life points, um, and it probably was, as that was probably Sup- uh, Supreme's last little uh, bit of hope there. Um, if he attacks with the Sonic Bird, who knows what could happen here? Uh, and now Supreme is definitely going for it all as he equips the Axe of Despair to his Sonic Bird, making it into a Sonic Red-Eyes Black Dragon. Um, I don't have a problem, you have a problem. And now Sonic Bird will attack the Magician of Faith for max damage. Gosh. And now the Mirror Force goes off as Merlin calmly and collectively begins his next move. And now the tomato attacks, and the magician of faith attacks, tickling for 300 points. And Merlin's setting yet a third card face down. <laughs> As Supreme prepares to draw his next card, we can only hazard to wonder 
what Supreme can do in this situation as he draws Witch of the Black Forest. Summons the field to attack the Magician of Faith, and it goes through, dealing a nice chunk of damage to Merlin, bringing Merlin down to 3,200. Okay, this isn't too, too bad for Supreme here. Um, as Merlin draws his card, see if he's drawn another monster here. If so, it's going to be huge, a huge turnaround, and it doesn't seem to be the case as to the Tomato destroys the Witch. What will Supreme search here? Um, it's going to allow Supreme to search uh, for a useful card. He searches for another bird, another Sonic bird. Maybe he'll turn it into another Red Eyes Black Dragon. Who knows? I know he has a freaking Ride Gecky. That's what's scaring me. And Merlin living in Supreme's head rent free. <laughs> Hold up, Supreme, you're not running Raigeki? I am. But I, I know he has some his and I don't have mine. Hold up, why are you here? Because uh, Merlin's not in the chat. He's not on Discord. <laughs> Why are you here? Because I want to be here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Merlin's not in the, um, in the voice chat. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh. Uh. Poll is now in, ladies and gents. We have Merlin Supreme. Who will take it? Who will win? Sorry. Who will lose? How dare and, you make goodness. this poll at this point in the duel? <laughs> and now, and now, right. the That's Mystic time. Tomato and the Swords of Revealing Light. Um, have Merlin with the best offense and defense and whatever the hell else is going on in those face down cards and Supreme with one set card Supreme uh, you can't vote for yourself in the poll that's unfair <laughs> <laughs> and now Supreme setting a monster in defense mode and passing turn and now Merlin drawing for card or drawing for his turn we'll see if he's drawn another monster Merlin seems to be running a deck of minis, essentially, but they're all minis that mill, mini mills, windmills. I don't, I'm sure there's a quirky word we can come up with for this. <clears throat> Merlin strategizing, and there is the horrifying Regeki that Supreme was afraid of, and there goes his sonic bird. Now the tomato Ooh. attacks, and the Robin Goblin is going to lock this duel in for Supreme, as he has one card left in his hand. And the Ooh. seven tools of the bandit. Oh, oh man, this is going to be a steep payment for uh, for uh, Supreme, as he pays that a thousand card. life points, and he's going to take Good. another fourteen. That card in hand uh, needs to be fucking like God. fucking God. Yeah, literally <laughs> fucking. Let's see what happens here. And Supreme draws for turn. As Merlin sits comfortably behind his Swords of Revealing Light. And Supreme with a monster in defense mode. Um, Merlin couldn't possibly have a second Raigeki by some magical, miracle, <laughs> majestic beauty. But he does have a giant okay, soldier of I stone. Lost. I lost. And now Merlin attacking mm -hmm. the Sangin. I like that emote you got, uh, John. That Gengar emote. Okay, nice try, Supreme. It's a nice try. It's only because I messed up. Oh, I should have used Magic Cylinder on that first Fisher. Wait, Magic Cylinder? Magic oh, wait, cylinder. Magic oh, you cylinder. magic jammer. Magic, magic, magic jammer. Magic. Yeah. Hold up. I was like, oh, wait, let me have that shit. <laughs> Everybody's like, what? All right, and it looks like Merlin uh, takes the W. Congratulations, Merlin. All right, there are your brackets, ladies and gents. We have, um, let's see, we have in we have three tables now. We have Hakeem and Merlin in table one. Very good. 
Pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. All right, next uh, we have table two is going to be supreme and dark blue. Yes. And the third table will be Grim versus John. Uh, we have three highly, highly exciting matches here. Jesus, what, which one am I going to watch of these? <laughs> All right. Um, begin duels. All right. I, I, I have to watch Grim and John. <laughs> I have to. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's going to be funny. All right. All right, let me see if I get that pull up. New pull. Um. Oh my gosh, I missed this hand. All right. And the poll is in. Grim v. John. Who will win? Who will lose? Who will tie? All right. Okay. <coughs> All right, we have the MST going off, destroying the Solemn Judgment. Oh my goodness, that's an excellent destruction uh, from Grimm. Destroying John's um, Solemn Judgment. Um, let's see here. Um, hold up, let's see. Right, Supreme and blue, you y'all can definitely go into another uh, into table two voice chat if you haven't already. Okay. To, uh, just gonna do that and there we go beautiful um, and John I'm just gonna move you down uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna move you down here with Grim there you go all right beautiful nice and neat nice and neat that's how we like it all right This music is not doing it. We need epic. Um, epic. Um, copyright free music. Battle music. Let's see. As we have John versus Grimm, and my goodness, the duel is nearly over, as I'm just now catching up after putting on some music. And we have Grimm using the Raigeki and the Solemn Judgment from John. That has got to be, that is the third, my god, the third Solemn Judgment used by John, negating Grimm's cards back to oblivion. Now John is left with the Dark Elf in attack mode, and the Jiraigumo in attack mode as well. And he will go for it, burn for the 1,000 for a Dark Elf, and attack with the Jiraigumo. And now leaving Grim down to 700 life points. MST going off on Trap Hole. 
John making sure that there are n there's nothing in his way. And Grim has one monster left in defense mode. Unless it's a penguin soldier, I'm not sure um, how that monster blocks him. And it is the Sonic Bird. And Mahavilo getting oh. John the W. Ahoy. I seen it. I seen it. Yes, sir. All right. And let's see here. All right. And congratulations, John, with the W there. Um, all right. And congratulations, John. And congratulations. Uh, well done, Grim. Um, getting that far in the tournament. As we all know, it is not easy. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, Fun. My issue is me running out of cards and them still having four fucking cards in their hand. I'm like what the hell? Yes. Yeah, now. Harmony. Hundred and thirteen life points. <laughs> <laughs> he he's had stranger. What was it, like sixty three? Yeah, I've had sixty three. Like I've had twelve. How the hell did you get three black points? Kind of my thing. It's an odd ass number. What happened? How did seven disappear? Ooh, can Dark Blue get his his strategy in play? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna fast forward through this duel. Let's see how far along they uh, they are here. We have Supreme yes. v Dark Blue. Well, I'm gonna see if I can get to Diamond One today. Diamond One. Yes, sir, I'm like three matches away. I think. Oh wow, nice. It's actually pretty close. Yeah. yeah. I imagine it's the hardest three matches. <clears throat> Alright, and now we have Dark Blue activating the toll. Um, okay. We're on turn eight at the moment. I don't know how many turns okay. this duel is in. Round eleven. Okay. Night Monster Reborn, okay. Oh, man. Oh, a dark hole, though. MST. Oh, watch. <laughs> Ooh, that deck's okay. hurting. You're about to watch this again. <laughs> Y'all are imposters. Y'all can't be using Dark Hole. Mine's the only true Dark Hole. <laughs> the Royal one? Yes, sir. I got the Royal Dark Hole and the Royal uh, Summon Skull. Alright, and now we have the Wabaku getting activated. Wait. For what? <laughs> yeah, that was... That was... What? Activated on Dark Blue's side, and Dark Blue is going to steal one of Supreme's monsters this time. Ooh, and Supreme with the Magic Jammer. I'm not sure if that was the best Magic Jammer, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, I mean, I against Dark Blue, that might have been good against like Chain Energy or something. That being said. He probably would flip chain energy on if he had it. <laughs> that is true. He's in the lead. He's in the lead. This is this would be a great time to top deck chain energy. Oh yeah. You wanna play it. You wanna oh, play yeah. it when you have the advantage. 
and that is exactly what is going on right now. Dark Blue does, in fact, have the advantage um, in this duel. Uh, and now, ooh, Supreme with the another Black Illusion Ritual, hopefully uh, attempting to take the Giant Soldier of Stone for himself. Summoning the Relinquished. Looks like he will absorb the Stone Soldier and potentially attack Dark Blue directly here. Uh, investing 500 life points to do so, but dropping Blue to 7,700 life points. At least he's got Blue below the 8,000 life point marker. Oh, and Dark Ooh. Blue with that Regeki. Man, those Relinquished get destroyed by Regeki and Dark Holes like no tomorrow. Holy crap. Yeah. That's a fucking Nibiru. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, and we have a monster getting set by Dark Blue in defense mode. Um, oh, and the Witch Luck Forest gets uh, falls right into the trap hole. Uh, but that is going to let Supreme search a card. Um, I would assume it's going to be one of these, the Relinquished Search cards, and it is going to be Sonic Bird. It's going to be a valuable search for Supreme, as that Relinquished has been a lifesaver for him. Uh, and Dark Blue with Swords of Revealing Light. Um, this is reminding me of a Merlin duel now, with Swords and uh, Card Advantage on Blue's side, it seems. Well, at least Field Advantage, for the most part. Yeah. And now we have Supreme with the Sonic Bird. Okay. And now he's going to search the Ritual Spell card. It's going to allow him to bring Black Illusion Ritual. Um, he may just activate it here, but hard to say if it would even be worth it at that point. Now Dark Blue drawing for turn. Nice. Oh man, and Princess of Sarugi, Dark Blue is going to burn Merlin, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Supreme Cake for 1,000 life points here. And Supreme dropping to 3,300. Uh, this is not looking good for Supreme. Uh, Dark Blue is in a fantastic position right now. have the MST going off, uh, destroying Swords of Revealing Light, and ooh, this is a wonderful Megamorph. Excellently played Megamorph, uh, boosting Sonic Bird up to 2,800, and Supreme's got life points below Dark Blue for days, and he's going to pay more with Toll. Uh, this is actually going to help him a little oh. bit, uh, uh, except, you know, there is Mirror Force, there is Mirror Force. Ooh, and Supreme oh. with the Solemn Judgment. Supreme finally breaks through for some substantial damage against Dark Blue here. But how yeah, many more attacks? Attack. <laughs> yes, exactly. How many more attacks is Supreme going to be able to do before he defeats Dark Blue here? Uh, make those licks count at this point. Alright, and Dark Blue... Ooh. Uh, man, with the dark hole, Jesus, destroying that uh, Sonic Bird. Dark Blue's got options, and he's got two tolls now. Uh, Supreme is going to have to figure out something, and figure out something fast. Um, otherwise, Dark Blue is going to top deck a decent monster and just start attacking Supreme. Uh, and Supreme sets a monster in defense mode, passes turn, Dark Blue draws for turn. And he, Dark Blue also sets a monster and passes turn. See if Supreme can come up with something here to get rid of those tolls. He's going to need either... Oh, Maneater Bug. That's actually not too bad. Actually a good hit, destroying that Princess of Sarugi. That would have 
really damage Supreme. He cannot afford those life points. Uh, and Dark Blue searching for options, drawing, setting a card face down, ending turn. That Mania Bug is in attack mode. It can attack, but is it worth 1,000 life points for 450? Probably not, as uh, Supreme realizes this switching Mania Bug to defense mode. Yes, I don't see a way out for Supreme here. Yeah, I, I mean, MST? Oh, he's used one. He's used one so far. Um, he needs to, yeah, he needs to grab both of those. Yeah. Does he... Oh, he's used one Dust Tornado, so he has Dust Tornadoes as well. Interesting. Okay. So he might he might have a little something. Good point, good point. Um, we'll see, we'll see here. Uh, but Supreme's life points are extremely low, and they're in dangerously low levels against Dark Blue, as Blue has plenty of cards to burn in a variety of ways. All right, and Dark Blue drawing for turn. He's got a set monster and a set card here. I'm sure Dark Blue is poised to deal damage any minute, any minute now. All right, passing turn to Supreme. Oh, man, and there it is, the Just Desserts, the Bacora Signature. Oh, I thought you were going to Chain Link 2, another Just Desserts, Dark Blue. That would be crazy. <laughs> I'm disappointed. I'm just kidding. No. Well, he might flip that Princess of Sarugi, that third one. We'll have to wait and see. Unless, uh, if I were to guess, if it's not that, then it might be a giant German defense mode. Yes. Either that or a wall. Yep. He did have that soldier of snow. Bruh, he can actually summon some Cordova. Kind of garbage. Let me ask, how many of those are left? Um, good question. So I was just looking at the brackets. Um... So, you're facing one, two, I think three. I think there's it's three. me versus the winner of Dark Blue and Cake. Oh, correct. And then, I, no, Merlin's still on the winning side, right? Um, yes, Merlin and Hakim, our hero are okay. in the yeah, winning side. I don't know. Do we know who so won I, between them? I don't know. I'm watching uh, Blue's Bowl. Yeah, same. Basically, after this duel right here, there's going to be four contestants left. So Right. Ooh, and the Wabaku gets activated. Um, Dust Tornado, okay. Destroying the face down card that Supreme has. Ooh, which is a magic jammer. That's actually a really good hit for Blue. And he's setting a card with Dust Tornado's effect. Um. So, 
You know what's funny about this? I actually think Blue still could have crashed into Sonic Bird right there. He could have, yeah. He would have. And now we have the Raigeki going off. Destroying the giant germ. I gotta use the bathroom, but I don't want to miss this. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I know how many. Disco later, I have work in the morning, so going to sleep feels weird yeah, sleeping twice day. during the same stream. Yep. <laughs> have a good night, Harmony. Oh my god, another shadow spell. Holy crap. God, all Blue needs is just a strong enough monster. I don't even think he's going to bother risking attacking. Well, it's hard to say, actually. But. You can attack. <laughs> what, blue? Oh, I thought you were talking about Kate. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Kate. Yeah, he, he, he can't. He can't yeah, at blue all. Can. But yeah. Blue probably just wants to burn him. <laughs> yep, I think so. Yep. He's not, he's like, I'm not falling for any mirror forces or any of that. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There it is. And the princess does the damage as blue moves on. To the next that round. Prince, that princess is gonna be a problem. Yeah, she. So everyone has dude, back row. I'm telling you, that princess, she's, she's something else. Uh, yes. All you. right. So what round is it? All right. So we are officially in the semifinals. We have four people left. Or actually, wait, we're still waiting on Hakeem and Merlin to finish. Ooh. Um, wow, they're still going at it? Holy shit. Um, do I bother to spectate this? Is it going to end any second? Eventually. Fortunately, yeah, I neither think of these I, guys are in the chats. I think I literally watched two duels in the time that these guys are still dueling. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, mine was pretty quick. All right. I'm going to fast forward through this. I'm going to use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Okay. What is up, sweet? So we are doing a tournament right now. But you can always play with us after the tourney. You could always be a part of the next tourney as well, potentially. Looks like Merlin is going to be taking this one, unless something crazy happens.
Yes, and Merlin has one. Merlin is looking very, very, very tough. As his games aren't even close. Any of his games. All of his games he has won pretty emphatically. Yes, it is always a tough match when you're going against Merlin. With all that oh. last old blue, you were able to to do your lock. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what happened? Hakeem won. Merlin won. Merlin won. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's see. All right, so yeah, it's gonna be John v uh, Dark Blue, and then yeah, the winner of this will face Hakeem. So we are in the ending stretch. We are getting there. Old move to go first, Dark Blue. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> Unless you get a chain injury or a toll, then it's a great decision. <laughs> Right. Now, to give some context for the, some of the viewers, um, these two have dueled for hours. <laughs> I mean, like hours, like like eleven hours. I don't even know doing this <laughs> for like eleven hours. So they pretty much know each other better than they know themselves, probably at this point. So oh, yeah. we'll see what happens here. Um, as the MST bombs the Swords of Rev Light. Want it back? Damn it! <laughs> oh shit! Just Don't do it! Faith. Don't do it! <laughs> oh man! Appreciate you. <laughs> oh yes. Ooh. Let's go. Ooh. <laughs> it had the same plan. I see. A spell <laughs> for a spell. <laughs> it's only fair. No, no longer. No. You can't attack me, you have swords up. That's not fair. Uh, let's see. Uh, sweet, sweet tail. Uh, when there are going to be... When there be another tourney. Um, future tournaments? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, so this one was a special for my hitting... Or us reaching 100 followers. And... Um, so we did this and a 24 hour stream as sort of a, like a weekend celebration. Uh, and we typically do starter deck related things, starter deck plus other booster packs. So we're doing sort of a progression series. So there's probably going to be one. If I, there is going to be a tournament at 200 <laughs> follows. Oh God. What the hell? Shadow spell and solemn judgment. Let's go! Jesus. <laughs> I'm going in for attacks, buddy. I'm not being stopped. <laughs> John negating everything that he possibly can. Does he have another face down card? He does not. Uh oh, wait, wait, no, that was dark. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. I'm all turned around here. Um, but yeah, we'll have some kind of a tournament at 200 follows, um, if that uh, ever happens. And, um, but specifically for um, Pharaoh's Servant, when that pack, when we add that pack, and probably some other special cards. Um, I don't know. I don't know when the marker will be for that. It won't be next week. It won't be next week or um, unlikely the week after that. Uh, but if you'd like to stay up to date on all things that go on here, including uh, tournaments and unique events and unique rule sets and all those things, um, exclamation point Discord. Um, and you can uh, keep up to date. I post announcements in our Discord all the time. Even when I go live, when I post videos, when I have unique announcements for everybody to know about, any tournaments, um, all that good stuff. So, 
um, it's good to kind of, you know, uh, stay stay up to date with that stuff if you can. Posture check. Oh god damn it! Everybody in the damn posture check. All right. <laughs> <laughs> They're really feeling the posture checks. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, chain energy. and nice. the chain energy. That's gonna be that's gonna be a toughie. That's gonna be a toughie. That's gonna be a, it is. I agree. Especially since John is already invested. He's he's invested. And I'm going to invest more. Ooh, Jeez. he's summoning the Jin. He's summoning the Jin and setting a card. He doesn't jumping. care. I'm going in, buddy. <laughs> if you Jin win, you win. The... Oh man, and the Mamangas. Yeah, I already killed a... two. That's the third one. That's a hell of a combo. Those Mamangas with the chain energy, and now you have the spear. Ooh, spear crit. Nice. Oh boy, that's gonna bring back what magician of faith and magician of faith. What the hell? <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> He has swords, but I'll just use MST, MST again. Yeah. <laughs> and you have a faith, yeah, so I'll just attack that, get out of the way, clear the field. Our turn here. <laughs> Yes, I have to pay him all my taxes. All right, I'm back. Everybody's yes. gone, but I'm back. Cool. Uh, I still like a chunk of people here. No, oh, no, I was here the whole time. I just really wanted to move it. Oh. Yeah, everyone left the. We yeah. just have a little gathering. Oh, yeah. I see. Uh, your family? No. Uh, oh, now my family's here. Uh, people mm -hmm. that I work with from that I went to training with back in 2019. Everyone oh, okay. was hanging out. It was watching some, uh, it was watching the, uh, was it Dark Blue and Supreme Cake Tour mm -hmm. on the big TV. Very nice, very nice. 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 Of course, I had to mute it so you would hear like a thousand of voices in the background. Manager. Yeah. <laughs> um, and now John draws for card. What is going to happen here? And the MST swords or chain energy? It's a big question. Or face? Oh, face down. Whoa. Oh man. And the, that, that was a mess. That was a mess. Tornado is dusty. Oh man. That's a that. Ooh. That, that is a, that a huge, huge turn back in Dark Blue's favor. Mm. Just mm. Ooh, and we have another mystical space typhoon bombing swords. Man, John just does not care. Just, there's no way. There's just no way. Oh, I was gonna say a third one. Maha Vilo. Enter bug, nice. Ooh, just man eater bug, okay. Destroying the Maha Vilo. Maha Vilo Very attacking still. and the witch attacks. Hmm. Need. Man. Oh man, that <laughs> Axe of Despair boosting Mahavilo uh, Another man quite Jeez. a lot. Oh man, a fantastic These hit. These top decks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, crazy. Um... And now the Witch of the Black Coming Forest talking directly. Coming down to it. <laughs> and Blue's going to need something big here. Uh, there's a few cards I can think of would be Toll or Dark Hole. Um, or even Rageki. Uh, but a monster in defense mode. 
Um, it's certainly better than drawing a brick of some kind. Hey. Ooh, a spear cretin. Huh, this is an interesting choice. Sucks. Mm. In addition to faith comes back yet again. And your contacts are crazy. <laughs> They're spooky. And there's the swords of Rev Light. Getting re-added to Dark Blue's hand. And John getting whatever licks he can get in. I'm down to it now, maybe. <laughs> Setting his last card. And Dark Blue's about to set potentially his last card here right now, which is Swords. Dude, I have to. It sucks. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's so, it's so, uh, oh man. Oh my god! <laughs> and he didn't, and he doesn't bomb chain energy, that's hilarious. He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> I like chain energy, that's my spirit card. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. I didn't win me this door. Yep, Hakeem says, gotta pay his taxes. Yep, everybody's paying their taxes in this duel. Damn. And a valiant effort by Dark Blue. Holy crap. Yeah, that was scary. Um, that was spooky. Yeah, that it was just, my god. <laughs> the, the top decks were insane towards the end there. As John moves on to the next round to face off against Hakeem. In table one, the winner of this duel will face Merlin. And mind you guys, just for a little history lesson, Merlin has won championship with the in the Crimson Cup, and John has two, I believe. Yes, I am the two-time. Yes, so Merlin is a one-time champion, and Merlin is a two-time champion. Um, so well, let's see what happens here. Um, will we have somebody retaining the championship or or what? Uh, you guys may begin. John is a one-time. To me, he's a one-time. <laughs> I will not overlook Hero. Because he is my obstacle in front of me. That is, this is very true. Uh, Hakim has quite the um, ordeal, quite the challenge um, ahead of him. for a reason. Now, I don't in my eyes, will John be a two times? <laughs> <laughs> I need to prove myself to magic. Well, two for me, two times for me, three times for everyone else. But the two is not one, one in the one. All right, all right. Yeah. I see ya. Very, yeah. very interesting choice here to just set and pass. Must be a mirror storm or a mirror force. Oh, a trap hole. The equivalent. Makes sense, makes sense. <laughs> Trapple. <laughs> yeah, I knew it was Trapple or Mirror Force. The fact that you just set one part and passed. <laughs> oh, and Hakeem sets yet another card. Oh, and another card. Interesting, interesting. Trying to Do get the, in, the, the, the imperm columns getting set here. <laughs> they are indeed. Now John drawing card. Let's Let's test it. Let's here. test it. And the Opticlops can Opticops. see through bullshit with his so, one eye. Mm, I'm thinking that must be a solemn because you had a chance to, res to respond to a summon. And you chose not to. A scapegoat as well. Interesting. Ah, yes. And Hakeem activating the scape. Ooh, and the magic Interesting choice. jammer. <laughs> you will not have walls. You I have no walls. But when I run three, just as hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, you pulled just desserts? That would have been a GG and a half. Yeah. <laughs> that 
that's the holy shite. Matt, I'm gonna need you to zoom in on my Octiclops. Look at this. Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at this guy, man. I don't, I don't know if I show can. The, uh... sh show the chat my Octiclops. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. He's half the no, no defense. There's no defense against me. I will not have defense. Octiclops. That's as much as I can do. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wait, I thought you could just click them and it pops up. Big. Oh, That's what oh I bet. duh. Jesus. That's what I bet. 25, <laughs> 25 hours, 17 minutes, and 46 seconds. I was thinking, like, wait, what? what is he doing? I'm, ready for, I'm like zooming in my stream. I'm like, oh, that's what you meant. Oh, right. That makes way more sense. Yeah. Yeah. Opticlops <laughs> is, uh, yes, he's doing things and he is making Hakeem's life points lower. As Hakeem yes. must come up with a strategy to take down uh, the strongest and most, like, uh, I guess, highest balanced beater, I guess. Very nice, very nice dark hole. Ooh, and a dark hole. Ooh, destroying the Lejin, the set Lejin, interesting. I was playing around with Mirror Force because he has a he has a response to my attack. Shout out to Master Dole for, you know, kind of telling on people. Oh, we have the Dark Elf getting summoned here. Oh, it's a Karibo. It's not a... Okay, good to know. I thought it was a Mirror Force. It was a Karibo response. Interesting. down on the field it is a battle phase to invest 1,000 life points to destroy the Magician of Faith. Basically, you're going to bring out a okay, brought a dark ball. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Space Typhoon, okay. Ooh, and the Dust Tornado activates, saying, Psyche! He's destroying the Magic Jammer, another good, uh, good bomb. Ooh, and the Dark Hole, destroying the Dark Elf. <clears throat> Jin, attack. Jin taking a huge chunk of damage. A Geki. That like a nice guy. Geki. Destroys the Lajin. Jedi Gumo attack. summoned in attack mode. Ed's never fails, baby. Dealing a nice 2200 points of damage to Hero as um, Hakeem needs to figure something out here. If he plans to take out that Jedi Gumo and gets a John's life points. to reborn. What can they bring out? Nothing. 
my Opti box. Opti clubs, okay. okay. Interesting. Is he going to commit suicide or does he have an equip spell? Oh. Find out. He does. Black uh, pendant. Now, does John have a another solemn judgment? I knew it. <laughs> oh my goodness. The solemn judgments are merciless. He doesn't care. It's he's like a kamikaze almost. He just he doesn't even <laughs> think about it. He's just going in, and it's yes. it's working. I am super aggro. And now I am I'm accepting his fate and crashing into the Jedi Gumo. We to go out like a man, Kiro. <laughs> You had tools, but it was turned off. I see. That's what I figured, actually. <laughs> had tools, not enough light. Damn. Yeah, that's tough. Um, excellent job, you guys. Um, okay, and all right. This. Is it? We have John and we have Merlin. Um, will the real Merlin please join table one? If you happen to still be present. Oh, and there is Merlin. Let's do it. For the culture. <laughs> I don't think Merlin's lost a, uh, a a match in any of the tourneys. I I would not be shocked. <laughs> he hasn't lost one match. <laughs> so I must hand him this first L. <laughs> <laughs> well. At least that's the hope. <laughs> Hurry up and take the L, John. I like Merlin better. He doesn't talk. <laughs> All right. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. The finals of the Progression Series Tournament. John's World versus Merlin. Merlin is a one-time champion. John is a two-time champion. Who will come out on top? Who makes the better shitty Yu-Gi-Oh deck? Let's find out. This is Starter Decks, Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, and Spell Ruler, or Magic Ruler, whichever you prefer. We will find out which duelist has the better deck building capability and dueling skill. Yes. Now, mind you, uh, in this bracket, John must actually win twice in order to beat Merlin, where Merlin needs to win once, as Merlin is in the W column. Yes, I must beat him two out of three times. Yes. I will win two, two for two. <laughs> and Hakim is asking for Joey voice. Oh no, not the giant soldier of stone. My 25 hour, 25 minute <laughs> Joey voice. <laughs> it's done. It's done. Water. That was a brave John Soldier Stone. It is. I couldn't get past this wall, so I had to make him think he was the aggressor. Mm, and John. Trying to get in Merlin's head rent free, but Merlin was in Supreme's head rent free. Who will get in whose head rent free? All I know is I wish my rent was free. Uh, uh. <clears throat> we have Shard of Greed versus Moki Moki here. Okay. Oh, okay. Do you 
trade. Is that an MST trade? Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So he is. He does not like my set card. Merlin and John have both had an opportunity to observe one another's duels. Ooh, and we have the Swords of Revealing Light being activated. There is no defense against me. I will attack. Now the real traps come out. Oh, Maha Vilo getting switched into attack mode. Jumping another monster in defense mode, uh, anticipating maybe a mirror force of some kind. Maha Vilo attacking response, the right? Soldier of Stone. Merlin considering it, and the mirror force goes off. Interesting. Hmm. Those mirror, those damn mirror forces. <laughs> They are a pest. They are a pest. Yes, those pesky mirror forces uh, can cause uh, people to win or lose duels within a blink of an eye. Alright, I'm for battle phase. Talk to you later. Alright, have a good night, guys. Yeah, yeah. Attacking my monster face down. It is an Opticlops. Uh, That's a big one. I was checking the point to see if John is really a good type. <laughs> I will try not to let you down. Alright. You made him out of a copy with me. <laughs> yes. Opticlops, kill this wall. Unless he has a second to mirror for us, which he probably does. The he Soldier of Stone takes the hit. So Merlin is down, down to 7,000 life points. John, 8,000. I've never seen you play so many defense monsters. I know. It's because he has mirror forces and he's tricky. He's a, he's a tricky, tricky guy. I have to play big brain against him at this point. I cannot go full kamikaze attack like I want to, <laughs> unfortunately. Ooh, Fissure. Oh, man. And that, there goes the Opticlops. And Merlin with a second monster in defense mode. He's building up a strong wall, it seems, against John. Merlin's probably going to go for that mill strategy. Ooh, and a nice MST. Yeah, Will it be another MST trade? Let's find Robin out. Goblin. Robin Goblin. That Clear has ended field. careers in this tournament due to Merlin. A wall and a magician. Great hit. Nice. Yeah, actually, really good. Now, here's the now they're, they're down to no cards. John's got one card left. Oh, I have two. The fave. Okay. Because I, I, I bombed my own witch. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And now, now we uh, have the Vilo. Now Maha Vilo going in for the attack. And now Merlin must figure out a strategy. It'd be a shame if that was a Robin Goblin. <laughs> Those things are bricky. Yes, they can be. They certainly can be.
spades. Interesting. John setting one card face down in a monster in defense mode. Ah. And he'll go for the attack. And it goes through. Merlin down to 2350. John is still at 8,000. Uh, remember, John does have to win twice here. But Merlin just has to win once. I'm doing my best to tie this. And, ooh, nice Regeki. Oh, and the solemn judgment in John. Not minding at all, investing a half of his life savings to save his Mahavilo and his. Se wow. Oh my God! And the solemn on the solemn. There's no way he has a 17. Am I, no. am I a win off that? That was nice. That was nice. It was really, really, really nice play. Hmm. Now let's see what Merlin can do here. John's life points have just been cut in half. That's a huge opportunity. Though Merlin's life points are not looking so good themselves. Mm, no monster, I see. Mm, just just a monster. set card. Mm. Now these traps are being set. Trap hole, apparently. Or if it's not their solemn judgment. Solemn. Another solemn judgment. Wow. Had to be done. Had to be done. I've gone through two solemn judgments. Okay. Negating the witch completely. Another set card. Interesting. Anticipating the mirror force here. All of the traps are coming in this evening. John setting a monster card in defense mode, and now Merlin is going to have to figure something out here. Okay, and the dark hole has been activated. And the magic jammer. Looks like John wants to save that monster at all costs. He's willing to dump the axe of despair. Maybe you're really great right now. Man eater bug. Yes, it would be. Oh my god, and it's a second dark hole. Nice. Let's clear the field, clear the field. Okay, I'm guessing that is a magician of faith in defense or a wall. I guess we'll find out. Trap hole. And the Lejeune. Third solemn or trap hole? Let's see you guys. Has to be the third solemn or trap hole. I believe those are the only two cards that have a response on a summon. No, it could have been uh, Robin Goblin. It is the Solemn. Wow. Ooh, and a seven tools. Life point payment out the booty. We'll destroy his last and final Solemn. Is it Master Darkness? Okay. Glad that was not a... Do to grab mirror for us or song. game. 
But John's gonna attack him doing anyway. Well, good thing to Oh, wall. Okay, fuck. Well, they did top that by him. Damn. Hmm. See what it is. A wall. Yep, we know it's the Wall of illusion. Wow. Doing an extra little 50 damage. Now I know what it is. Attack into the wall of illusion. Returning my monster to me. And then I will clear the field. Yep, I knew it. Dark hole, okay. And I hit a witch. So you will bring back either a magician. Well, that's gonna help me a lot, actually. Probably a magician, I'm guessing here. I guess he could bring out a mask or a solemn. The choice is yours, Marley. He is in deep concentration mode. He is trying to channel his energy. Doing calculus equations in the background. Yeah. Merlin thinking 18 steps ahead right now. You will you get to step eighteen? So you really only have two options here. You are gonna grab a no. Maybe the obvious choice would probably be the magician of eight. Also go as a witch. Anything again. Yeah. You guys are going mask. Choice is yours. Both good cards, both good cards. Hmm. It's still thinking. Man, I, I, I thought. I thought I took my time. Uh, wow. Cool timer. This is a this is a big decision here. Okay, mask it. Mask it. Mask it. There you go. Alright. Here's the Mahavilo. Darkness is set. And now the Legion has hit the field. Ooh, Axe of Despair. Just in case it was a wall and he's trying to trick me. So I have one unknown card. Oh, wow. And there's the Mirror Force. And the Seven Tools goes off. Negate the mirror force. Attack Investing. the fool. Investing those 1,000 life points. Getting past the Mask of Darkness. Every little choice here is Song or Mirror Force. If you can survive an attack by the Jin, if you can't, it doesn't really matter.
Oh, okay. Good choice. Oh, you do? Okay. Two mirror forces. Man. Wow. Well, I went for the win. And I do not regret my decision. I will always go for the win. I'll never play in Spear. What does Merlin have here? He's got... Oh, he does have a Sangin. Oh, wow. Going for the strike. Holy shit. No fucking way. I lost. I lost a few of those too. Trying to win. Oh, man. Any and all hope. There's no hope. He got good top decks. Put him in the a top turn situation. Yeah, Hakeem, the turnaround. Holy shit. And nice. Merlin with the W. The last second there. Holy crap, with the double mirror force. God damn. He had every card he needed. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Those top decks are insane. Um, well, Merlin with the W. Taking home the win yet again. And there are the brackets, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Merlin is the winner here. At the very top here. Uh, Merlin did. Merlin won. GG's. GG's. Excellent job, John. Excellent job, everybody. Honestly, this is really, really cool. Merlin, congratulations. Um, I know you're not in the voice call or anything, but... Um, you know, thumbs up in the chat and, and GG's to you. GG's to everybody. Everybody gets a G. You get a G. Everybody gets a G. Congratulations, Merlin. So, Merlin, go ahead and let's see. Yeah, GG to everyone. GG, Hakeem, Dark Blue. Um, yeah, everybody did fucking awesome. A lot of unexpected turns throughout this whole thing. Um, so, I mean, for the rest of the night, whoever... <laughs> I'm dead. But if anybody wants to just stay in this uh, room and do any kind of duels, you are more than welcome to. I, I am likely going to retire for the evening. <laughs> um, Pharaoh's servant is open. Yeah, free oh, open room. Uh, Mass 72 hour stream. Nah, 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 nah. What's up? I'm watching the replay to see his top decks and literally insane. This guy drew Solemn Judgment three times in a row and a Regeki. Whoa. God in damn. A, in a row. Holy shiznit. <laughs> um, and then a Dark Hole is his fifth part. Holy shite. This was a pretty good turnout. So, Merlin, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, I don't even remember from looking at the thing. You, you play on PC, no? So you got Steam? Send me a DM on Discord, and then we can work out the details. Obviously, we don't have to do it all tonight, but uh, we'll work out the details in the next few days. For you have won the $75 Steam Reward gift card thingy-majiggy. Whoop, whoop. Everybody give a pog chick for Merlin. Yeah, pog chick. Yeah. Woo. Woo, 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 woo. Just, just me, guys. Woo. Congratulations, Merlin. We're all sore. <laughs> Watching it back, and I'm just in awe. This dude drew every single card to save his life multiple times in a row. <laughs> That's insane. Good, good, good play, good play. I wanted to see like if I made any misplays, and no, I actually played outstanding. He just literally drew every single card he needed. <laughs> Arrow Servant, let's go. Arrow Servant, let's go start testing. <laughs> He's ready. I'm down. <laughs> Wait, okay, Arrow Matt, Servant. So Let's start adding in our decks. Me and Blue are going to play while you sleep. So we're going to add Barrel Servant, and what else are we adding so we know what we can add? We'll, we'll, let, we'll let you know what we need, what we need to ban. All right. <coughs> you guys play test and let us let me know. Like, it, broken as Exodia, right? It was as fucked up as Exodia it was in this previous it's format, broken, right? Broken. We're going to consider broken anything that you can't... Like, if you can't do anything... Mm -hmm. For like for example, I'm a, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Jinzo might need to be hit. But we're gonna see. 
we're yeah. gonna, we're gonna play. But I'm thinking Jinzo might need it. I don't know though. Uh, okay. My my question is: Are we just adding Pharaoh Servant? Or are we adding two again? Are we adding Pharaoh Servant in the tournament packs? So I think probably that. Um, it it'll probably be Pharaoh Servant and the tournament packs and like some like some additional assortment. But definitely, I'd say as far regarding booster packs, like the bo full fledged booster sets, this time just Pharaoh Servant I think is sufficient because Pharaoh Servant is pretty. Um, it, it's it's different. Like it's just a a big step forward. It's like a big leap forward in the in the way the game is going to be played. So. So we're adding Pharaoh Servant for the next one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Pharaoh Servant's going to be added for the next one. So. Um, and that's the only one we're adding. Well, yeah, it's going to be that, but we'll we'll generate a list. Me and John were talking about it earlier. Dark Blue, we were talking about it earlier. Um, we'll have all those details fleshed out for you guys and for everybody. And I'll post them, you know, in the special rule sets and everything. Once we have it all, like, solidified and figured out, we'll have it, like, whatever we need, links to pointing to the right things and all of that. But know that at the bare minimum, Pharaoh Servant is getting added. A thousand percent. Um, well, that is happening. Well, I think... Well, I think maybe you talked about another hundred percent ad being Duster, whoever that's in. Yeah, that that's very likely going to happen. So Duster, it'll be, it'll probably be Duster with what Valkyrian and, and Sinister Serpent, um, because those three came in that game. Sure. But I think there's two games actually. By the time Pharaoh Servant hits, I think there's a couple of different games, but I don't remember We're if they have we're unique. The game um, cards. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Um, just can you find the list for like those games? Yeah, I definitely will. Um, yeah, by the time we're ready to actually sit and analyze it, we'll do that. But I would say, while yes, regarding uh, starter deck stuff and progression series stuff, this is the next thing we're gonna do. But I want to do like a how can I put this? Every other thing. A, a different event so for example this time starter next one may be like anime right i wanted i want the next thing to be probably like maybe the anime authentic i'm not sure and i don't know what that looks like it's probably going to be a, a tiered system um but i, I want to do something with that definitely before we do like the next starter thing but yeah. but know that you can like like do this in the background you know what i mean like this can like be in the works and stuff and we could be like playing around with it and whatnot so yeah so um, okay, so I'm just because we're gonna add we're gonna enter our decks right now. So oh yeah, go for it. Go for it.